What's up, the entire squad? It's your boy Shad Tell with another one. Y'all see the title? Wanna check out the inside, the horrific secret chamber where whatever his name is kept his daughter, bro. I heard there's a movie about this. I haven't checked it out. Check the trailer out. So it looks wild as hell. But we're gonna check this out. Road to 2K. Join the family. Comment down below what y'all react to next. But let's get it, man. Hopefully this doesn't get blocked. Disbelief. It's about 60 minutes, so I feel like it's gonna get blocked. I blocked the logos of there, but on I Earth, like it can blocked. these things happen? And in this particular case, how could he possibly get away with it for so long? It's just unthinkable. A father who kept his daughter locked away in a secret chamber for 24 years. The poor girl with. Bro, uh, this is why I love these videos. Cause it puts life in perspective. You feel me? Like I'm over here complaining about fucking waking up type shit. She been stuck in a chamber by her own father for 24, mm, 24 years, bro. What kind of life is that, bro? 20, bro, you in a chamber, 24 years. You don't see day. You're not seeing light. At all, like no sun, nothing. He's in there depressed, bro. I feel so bad, bro. 24 years. I stayed in when the horror began, and over the years, she had seven children. One died, three were kept prisoner down in the cellar, and unbelievably, the others were adopted by the father and lived openly upstairs as his grandchildren. No wonder the family story stunned the world. What the fuck? This is live happily ever after, bro. The bro, why she that down there? Oh my god! And I must add a warning: what follows contains strong adult themes. Damn! What the fuck? In the very early hours of the morning, about a month ago, an ambulance drove up this road, bringing a seriously ill young woman to the small hospital in Eimstetten, a town not too far from Vienna. She looked like a ghost. She was seriously ill. Her only relative, a mysterious grandfather. First of all, they didn't know what to do with her. And so they said, we have to find the mother very urgently. Locating the mother had now become absolutely essential. And after a few days, a woman named Elizabeth came forward and slowly revealed details of a story so horrifying it would shock the world. What Elizabeth Fritzel revealed was that her father, Josef, had kept her locked in a cellar for 24 years. And here she gave birth to seven of his children, including the daughter now on life support in hospital. I thought, I cannot believe it. This can't be true. This can't be true. It's a monstrous case uh, because it's the own father who did this to his daughter, to his own flesh and blood. That's so fucked up, bro. Like, bro, tw bro, I can't, bro, I'm just thinking 24 years, you, if I'm stuck in this room for 24 years, bro, I'd go crazy, bro. Like, bro, you know how hot it, bro, like, everything, I'm thinking, about the, what, I'm thinking about the least. Bro, the fact that he came in, did her dirty, got her pregnant, that bro. Crime happened. 40 Eberstrasse, Amstetten. A place Someone that no one with the world. Oh, no, 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 in GTA, in GTA, you too. I'm chilling. I'm Frenzy. relaxing, chill. It comes as a real surprise to discover that this house of horrors is on a very busy, very normal suburban street. Shoppers and neighbors absolutely everywhere, and yet for 24 years, no one suspected the appalling crimes that were going on in there. That's fucking crazy, bro. I mean, that's, this is a normal That's how you know, family. you cannot know what's going on in the household, bro. Everyone can seem chill as hell. They could be hiding the darkest secrets, bro. And the neighbors were saying, oh, such a nice man, such a nice woman. And they were so nice with their grandchildren. And then you find out something like that. Austrian journalist and commentator For Petra Stoyer has been following the case saying, closely. The nicest and she's people. ashamed that it could happen in her country. I'm very angry. I'm angry with it because I cannot believe that uh, anyone can do this uh, to a woman and I think uh, this says a lot about our society because no one didn't really want to go deeper and to look 
into the case and to ask some questions. Certainly no one questioned Josef Fritzl. An electrical engineer, he and his wife Rosemary were well yeah, do, bro. respected in this town. In truth, Fritzl was a convicted rapist who'd spent time in jail. He was a cunning, meticulous man who planned his crime years in advance. Years? Imagine playing that shit for years, bro. I mean, it makes sense, bro. Like, it don't, like, it makes sense that he had a dungeon for, like, bro. For, for, to keep someone there for 24 years, you had to have thought through every possible way that that person could escape. And you had to close, like, bro. Years, bro. That's what you were thinking. That's what you were doing with your life, bro. Thinking of how to keep your daughter in a dungeon for 20, bro. We now Bruh. believe he planned his own personal empire as early as 1978 and to start a relationship with his pretty daughter Elizabeth in the cellar. Chief Investigator Franz Polzer is in charge of this case and with his help we can show you for the first time Fritzl's hidden hellhole. The cellar is reached through one, two, three, Eight locked doors in all. Yo! Hidden entrance to Elizabeth's prison. Bro, oh my god. Bro, that's absolutely. Bro, how much money and shit you gotta put into doing that, bro? Like, the time. Bro, this is what you was doing, bro. Look how crazy this we can show shit you looks, bro. It should look like a horror movie. Hell hole. Like, you gotta click the right door, bro. The cellar is reached through one, two, three, eight locked doors in all to the oh. final hidden entrance to Elizabeth's prison. Beyond that, Fritzl had purpose built a prison with a kitchen, a bathroom, a living area, and beyond that, two bedrooms. It was cramped, dark, and airless. I went so bro. What? To see this dungeon, this prison, for myself once, and I went through it, and I was very glad to be able to leave. Yeah, bro, the environment in this room, where the ceilings were very low, around six foot at the highest point, the environment was anything but pleasant. Everyone needs because sun, bro. Living, personal she hygiene sun and so on years. must have kept the level of humidity high. God damn, Joseph Fritzl like and Rosemary queen. had seven children, five girls and two boys. Elizabeth was the fourth child. And one day, back in 1984, she simply disappeared. Or at least that's what her father led everyone to believe. Well, he was very persuasive and he, he convinced everyone that his daughter did run away because she was very difficult and even if she was a child, she was a difficult child. For the first four years, Elizabeth was alone, except when her father came down and raped her. Over the next 20 years, she had seven of his children, all born in the cellar. Michael died soon after birth and was incinerated by Fritzl at the house. Bizarrely, of the six remaining children, three were chosen to live upstairs. The others, Felix, now five, Stefan, 18, and Kirsten, 19, were condemned to life in the dungeon. And it was down here that Elizabeth tried to give them as normal a life as possible. Well, how do you, what, what? Bro, pick three people to live upstairs, bro, I'm running and I'm telling, bro. Of course the kids, so I'm not even, like, I'm not even, like, bro, like, there's someone in the, but they don't know what's better, brother, kids, so. Yeah, bro, like, fuck. They were well raised, very educated, and very polite, um, so that's really very amazing, yeah. Dr. Christoph Herbst, oh, fuck Elizabeth you. Fritzl's lawyer, was stunned by how well she and the children coped. Reading, writing. Read, read, reading, writing, mathematics, and these things. She had some books. She asked her father to bring her books and, and, and some learning materials, learning stuff. And then she tried to educate um, her children. I think they had two or three hours per day. They had just uh, to learn something. 
Joseph Fritzl has never explained why he chose only three of the children to live upstairs. Each was taken from Elizabeth shortly after birth and placed on the front doorstep. Fritzl told his wife that their runaway daughter had simply dumped them in the dead of night with a note. What? Y'all didn't see this is suspicious? Bro, so she's just gonna leave. Bro, where did she have the kid? Where's the freaking hospital papers, bro? Wouldn't you think with all of this going on that Rosemary, the mother, would start asking questions? She's dumb too, unless you're part Maybe of it. Maybe she feared about the answers. Do you think she knew? We still do not know what his wife really knew. She took in three babies, mm -hmm. one after another, and accepted them. Yes. What do you think? She was, she was so suppressed that um, she didn't, uh, she didn't raise questions. She didn't dare to raise questions, and she accepted everything for years and years. Bruh. With his upstairs oh. family totally submissive and his secret downstairs family locked away, a super confident Fritzl went on a string of holidays, like, like this sleazy sex screen. tour of Thailand. Who looked after the family in the basement? Who looked after the prisoners downstairs in the basement? How did he get away with that? Nobody looked after them because um, the, he was um, he was a very good what logistic a thinker, weirdo. and he he planned everything. He had uh, he had some rooms where they could store um, milk and bread and all the things you need, uh, even vegetables. And yes, they were fine for three weeks. That how do you not know your house got a dungeon in it, bro? Like, your your husband just be taking food downstairs like at random times. You don't see that suspicious? Like, does he do it at midnight? Does he do it? What time does he go down and get them food, bro? <clears throat> My bad, excuse me. But for 24 years, you need some food and shit, you feel me? So, like, what time did he go downstairs? And give them food, bro. Like you didn't find it suspicious that food was just disappearing from the fridge. Milk. It's okay. You to buy extra food. There was one thing that Fritzl couldn't control. When uh, one of the kids in the dungeon got seriously ill, he had to do something, and that brings us back to this hospital, where things started to unravel. Stupid. Thank it was God, a few though. weeks ago. The eldest of the cellar kids. You don't know how long he would have lasted. Like, he, 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 oh, I don't know, bro. Thank God he did, because that's where the story unravels, he said. So that's good that you made a mistake. Nah, I don't know. I'm fucking 19 year old that's Kirsten a mistake, became though. seriously ill, and remarkably, Fritzel agreed to call an ambulance. Dummy. The first time ever outside. Doctors were immediately suspicious. The young girl was as white as a sheet from severe vitamin D deficiency, a total lack of sunlight. Police were baffled. Stupid. Who was she? Where was her mother? Back in the basement, Elizabeth finally stood up to her father, demanding to go and see Kirsten. And again, remarkably, he agreed. What do you think the uh, Elizabeth said to Fritzl? I mean, what, what do you think she said to convince him? She, I, I, I think she said, uh, you will be guilty of murder or something like that. And uh, she was, uh, she must have been outrageous and in a very, very uh, precarious. Bro, this is the first time she's seen Sun in like 24 years, bro. Thank God she got, bro, somehow she convinced that dude would let him go, let her go, bro. What? Imagine being. I keep saying imagine, bro, but like State 24 of mind, years so and you go outside. I, I so think, the I whole think he, world's different, bro. Imagine 24 years from now, bro. Here that everything could explode downstairs. In fact, the whole situation had become so explosive that Josef Fritzl knew he had to move very fast to prevent 25 years of lies and deception from blowing up in his own face. So, astonishingly, he went down to the dungeon basement and brought up Elizabeth and the two remaining imprisoned children to meet the family upstairs. And the way he sold it, Elizabeth had come home because she was so concerned about her daughter in hospital. She's concerned about her daughter and she was in the fucking basement.
Someone make this make sense to me, bro. The hospital police began questioning Elizabeth. At first, they suspected her of being an abusive mother. But finally, 24 years of horror came bursting out. First of all, they didn't believe her because it was so, it was kind of such an, such an amazing story and, and it was like a, like a really bad thriller or something like that. Yeah. Because she must have said yeah. to them, he's kept me in a dungeon. For 24 years, he's raped me several times. I bore him seven children. One died bro, how after long? birth. It's, bro, 24 years is crazy long, bro. What do you think they said to themselves? I think they needed psychological help themselves because you, you, you cannot bear something like that. You cannot listen to something like that and not be touched in a very, very deep way. What motivates a man like this? Most men who fall into this pattern of offending have, I think, two things. What they have a corrupted is, lust. Bro and a desire, an Seven urge for possessive eight. control. Dr. Paul Britton, one of Europe's leading forensic psychologists, believes Fritzl planned the imprisonment of his daughter when she was very young. Men who offend against their children, their daughters, they don't begin when she's a young woman of 18. They begin when she's a child. They blame her for arousing in them illicit feelings so what they're able to do is they're able to push away from themselves responsibility and they put it onto someone else but what you really have is a straightforward predatory lust this crazy bro. for the survivors of 40 Ebstrasse, the sad irony is that after all those years locked in the cellar they're now locked away in a psychiatric hospital under heavy guard Elizabeth's lawyer, Dr. Herbst, had just visited when we spoke to him. She's 42. She's been living in a dungeon since the age of 18. How does she look now? She looks like a normal woman. She has a very, she's very, very white face. She has a very white face, absolutely, very pallid face, of course, because she hasn't had no sunshine or something like that. But she looks completely normal, just as you would expect it from someone else. Oh, your whole life is fucked up. Your whole twenties. You never get to live your twenties or thirties, dude. You legit missed out on everything from twenty to thirty, bro. That is so fucked years up. Old. Twenty-four years. Doctor Herb says it's heartbreaking to see them still confined indoors. The kids can't wait to get out. I mean, they haven't walked in the rain, they haven't stood in the sun, they haven't swum in a river. There was a small boy said, I've never experienced rain on my skin, so I would like to experience that. He didn't see thunderstorms. They've never walked on the grass and they've never smelled flowers? Never, never. Ugly From his dude. jail cell, Josef Fritzl, 73 dude. years old, is said to be so deluded that he can't see what he's done is wrong. It's not known yet whether he'll end up in a normal prison or a psychiatric ward. Okay. Either way, it's now this monster who's facing the rest of his days locked away. Well, like fucking two years, bro. This boy about to pass in like two years. Bro, lock his ass in the same dungeon for 24 years, bro, until he died. Bro. Whoa, whoa. GTA, GTA, GTA. I don't know how YouTube be working. That I'm talking about GTA, bro. Y'all gotta put him in that same dungeon until he goes, bro. You know how crazy you would go, bro? He was an evil man, wasn't he? Um, most people who I've come across in these circumstances... Alright, that's gonna do it for that video. I don't want this shit to get blocked. I don't want it to be too long. I'll skip through it. At one point or another, the bottom of it, there is a perverse sexual drive and the intention that the weird as hell. an object to use how can you have like a, such a normal life I act so normal for so long but you know you got some crazy going on man that's gonna do it for that video if you enjoyed that subscribe my life road to 2k that was a wild ass video that was wild bro but i'm out let's get it